If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Alright, as I want to attack the AI, let's already put him on trade embargo. There we go. And then all the other AIs. Let's all give them, I don't know, shared maps, right? Oh, these are players. That's not good. Didn't see that. 10 provinces, 54 points. How come French West Africa has 8 provinces, man? Aren't they supposed to have only one? That's all Arabia. I guess that's a player. Is Arabia a player? How can I see? Oh, here. Oh, yeah, he's a player. Level 10. Introduce yourself in the chat. Okay. Alright, next. What am I going to do? Because I honestly have no clue. Oh, that dude is already moving in to attack me. Are you for real? Dude, no. That's a bad idea, man. That's a pretty, pretty bad idea. Actually, this one can stay over here. Because I guess that he could attack me. Let's strengthen the borders. Who is this guy? We've got Morocco, who is offering right away. Of course, pal, definitely not. There we go. Who is Morocco anyway? Level 7. Thank you. It would be practical to have shared maps with my neighbor over here. Let's already scout. I have no idea what that is over here. Ah, oh, those nopes always making uh, alliances the first day of the game. Level 2 workshop has been constructed. So what is this workshop anyway? Building effect, tech level plus 2. So there's a newspaper tab, diplomacy, resources, stock market, coalitions, espionage, province administration, armies, and front reports. But there's no technology? Where do I do my research then? There's no research? This guy just continues attacking with 20 units. I hope I'm stronger on defense though. Oh, attack and defense is the same? 18% damage efficiency. Why? Damage is dealt only once an hour, that's like in Call of War Classic. This game is gonna be slow. Unit count 20, yeah? Good soldiers trained to carry their equipment and fight are the backbone of all armies. Although weaker than other units, they are constantly replenished by recruiting campaigns and can be used to bulk up armies or to protect territories. Ah, those one day one players always wanting to uh, join coalitions at day one. Build all requirements, right? I feel like I need to produce stuff. I've got money, grain. Why is my fish in negative? I've got iron. I'm also negative in lumber. Coal, okay. Oil, and negative in gas. What, man? Who is this guy anyway? So I have money, steel, and I have oil. Yeah, so I can produce an armored car here, I guess. Oh, missing workshop. But there is also air units, balloon, fighter, and bomber. And there is naval. I should build a naval base, right? I'm gonna do that here. Build harbor. Available on day two. I cannot build a harbor, seriously. I've got no clue how to improve my economy whatsoever. I'm a negative. I don't like this, man. Gas. No, I'm on zero. So that's good. Fish. I don't want to be a negative man. And I'm negative in wood. Oh, no. So let's put this at 50-50. Oh, no. 70-30. Okay. Energy. 
But now I produce zero gas? Oh. Oh. Okay. That's pretty complex. And how do I produce gas? Oh. Oh yeah, that's for my electricity, I guess. Okay. Let's put my energy like this. Money. Okay, so now I'm not negative anymore. That's good. And that's still the coalition. Front reports. Messages from... Okay. Can I force march? I can. I'm just asking myself the question. This guy here, he's green, right? And this guy is red. Does that mean that here I'm at peace and this guy I'm at war? If I go to diplomacy, what does this say? No, they are at peace. So then why is he red? Because he's not AI, he's a player. And Arabia, he's a player too. Oh man, this guy played seven games, won four games. He's in an alliance. He killed a lot of troops. His kill dead ratio is good. Province retainment as well. Oh, that's not good. Oh, but this guy only plays tutorials. Are you for real, dude? Oh, just great. So Arabia is a seal clubber and Libya is attacking me? Freaking hell, man. That's not a cool starting position, right? Now, this guy joined like me today. That's really... Oh, you can see all the, all the economical statistics. Okay. But he has nothing but... Christ, man. Okay, so let's check out this other player. See what kind of tool build he uses. He builds a lot of fortresses. Harbors, railways, factories. How did he build 667 fortresses in only 7 games? What? 528 workshops? What is happening here? What? It's so weird. I don't understand the thing. I wanted to be surprised, so I didn't check any tutorials. I didn't check any videos. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing whatsoever. But Libya is insisting. He's gonna attack me with only 20 units. What is that? Oh, he's not red. That's just his flag. Oh, okay. So that's just his flag. And oh, that's just a green flag. Okay, that explains everything. Still, he's attacking me. That's not cool. Not very happy with that. So I've only got one barracks. Only got one workshop. Let's build a workshop here. I don't know. I can't. I'm building a fortress here. Here, I already have a workshop. So let's build here, I guess. A workshop. I don't know. Oh, it's already done? Seriously? That's fast. Okay. Build. There we go. An armored car. Take to level two. Oh, yeah. You can queue up. Build. So also here, what can I produce? Artillery takes one day. Freaking hell. I've got a victory level one, man. Oh, you need a factory level one, huh? So how do I build a factory? It's not even in my list. I've got no factory in my list, man. Are you for real? I need barracks for this one. Okay. Factory level one. How do I get factory level one then? Factory level two. Level three. Okay. So an armored car, I guess. So I've got now one factory. Two. Three, right? So let's build the barracks here. I don't know. Build barracks. Okay, here I'm already building a barracks. Let's build the barracks here as well. Build, there we go. All right. Province administration. Oh, now we've got it. Okay, so what is this? I have no recruitment office in uh, level two workshop. What, I can produce two units here? Oh no, it's halfway. Okay, so I've got three workshops. Got three barracks in construction. And this one I'm going to keep for my naval base, I guess. Here as well. Then I'm still going to need airports somewhere. Okay. I have no clue what I'm doing, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.